Today I was going through my Notion notes again and this time I found uh, something interesting about Git. It is about uh, following a file history, including whether it has been renamed or not. So let's uh, just copy this snippet and go step by step and uh, see the results. So here's, v here's VS Code. I have already a Git uh, repo initialized with no commits. All right, so I'll just copy the instructions. Um, let's see, in a readme file. Okay, it doesn't look nice, but it could have been worse. And uh, let's actually now follow the steps. So we have to create the bar TS file. Let's see, uh, bar TS, and create two commits. The first one will be commit A, Hit add bar TS, git commit, commit A. Then we'll create the commit B in a similar way. We'll uh, reuse the, the previous command because we are familiar with uh, git commands, I suppose. All right, and the uh, third step would be to change the file name and uh, commit with C. All right, so move bar TS into bat TS, and this would be the renaming. And now we have to uh, create a third commit, which would be commit M commit C. Okay. Now let's see what this command will do. Um, um, by the way, git lo stands for git log one line. So it will print the commits in a very concise way. Let's also see the ls in case you might, you might be wondering. So uh, as I said, um, git log one line. Okay, so uh, let's see what this command will do now. As you might uh, have expected, it will only print uh, the commit and its stat, which essentially means that it will print, uh, in this case, uh, it will print, uh, it will also include or show the insertions or deletions that have taken place in that file. And now let's go, let's get to the, to the gist of this video, which is this, uh, I would say, interesting command, not complicated so let's go step by step so we've uh, already seen what git stat does let's see what m would do let's search for m so m will detect renames with a given scope so I guess that's what we're looking for but we also need the follow command which will um, do at least two things it say it seems it will first follow renames and that it will continue listing the history of a file beyond renames. So my expectation for that is that it will uh, print the uh, information about the same file across its older commits as well. So let's, uh, let's actually see that. So M then follow, then the name of the file, bat.ts. So, yeah, it looks like uh, it uh, has our history, our uh, the file of uh, the history of our file. So in the first commit we've only added one line, which is this one. Let me also add it here bar bar ts. So the first one is uh, no, not bar but bar ts. Um, so this would be the first line of commit A, this would be the second line of commit B. So as you can see, only one insertion. And then there is bar TS in uh, commit C. It says that, it rightly says that bar TS has been renamed to bat TS with, ze with zero insertions, zero deletions, but only the file has, uh, uh, has been renamed basically. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it has been interesting for you as well. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.